Good morning, everybody. It's good to have you here with us again today. It's a beautiful day outside. It's not quite as hot. In fact, we turned the air off. It's been a busy morning around here. We've been cleaning up. And I have to say, I'm super happy because cleaning up three bathrooms at this house is a whole lot easier than cleaning up one bathroom at our old house. That makes me really happy because we got it done. The house smells wonderful. Let me show you this candle that we got. This one is called Indigo Sky. Can you see that? Mom, I couldn't find it. Indigo Sky and it smells so good. I couldn't smell it at our old house. I think our old house just stunk too bad. It was so gross, but it smells wonderful in here and it just makes me happy. The kids have been doing their must-dos today. They've got them all done and so they're having a little bit of free time. Then we're gonna take Handley and Handley is gonna go to the groomer and get all fixed up. So the bear that he looks like right now will be all gone and he'll be so cute. And I can't wait to show you because actually, Hanley has freckles. Okay, they're telling me it's just spots, but I like to call them freckles, so I'm calling them freckles. But it's been probably two and a half years since Hanley's been groomed by a professional groomer, and he's had problems in the past. The first time, let's see, that would have been four and a half years ago that we got him, and back then when we took Hanley to get groomed, he, we dropped him off of the groomer and I remember we went to Olive Garden and we were only there for probably about 10, 15 minutes. We'd just barely gotten our salad and we got a phone call that Handley had panicked and they had put him in the cage but he had tried to break through the cage with his teeth to get out because he was scared and he had gotten the, the wire of the cage caught in his lip and they had to have a veterinarian come and take it out and stitch him up. So he's kind of a, what's the word for Handley? He's kind of a scaredy cat. And so I'm hoping that he does better today and that we don't get a phone call. Okay, he's a scaredy dog. Sorry, he's a scaredy dog, not a scaredy cat. I'm getting corrected. John, are we gonna go on a walk in the wagon? Are you ready, John? You got your sunglasses on? Let's do this. This is the life, right, John? Riding around in the wagon. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, we're just waiting for Jacob to come. I don't know what he's doing. But we've got Hanley here in the back seat. And Hanley is Hanley is all ready to go get groomed, right, Hanley? John, put your shoe back on because we have to go to the store. He's laying on me. Hey, John, do you know where your shoe is? Okay. And waiting. Do I honk the horn or not? Probably it's a good thing I didn't honk the horn. Sorry, I had to tie my shoes. I just got those shoes tied. Handley is so excited. He gets to go on an adventure and get his hair cut. Woohoo! Well, Handley, are you ready to go? Should we do this? Come on, boy. Okay. Go. Here we go. Over to the right, Jacob. It's okay, Handley. Handley, I'll be right back, okay? Handley, I'll be right back. So I guess Handley is considered an aged dog, like an old dog. He's an old geezer. And so they're kind of worried that he might get too nervous and that he might have a heart attack and die while he's there. I had to sign a bunch of papers that said that it's okay. I guess if he dies, we won't sue them. I think he's gonna be just fine. He's a nervous Nelly, but he'll be okay. Okay, Rebecca, what are you doing, honey? How are you passing the boredom time of the day? Making a crystal tree. I'm gonna see if the other boxes, tree trunks are bent or not because of it's supposed to be, it says here, by, it says to separate the branches of the tree by bending them in all directions. This allows for the crystal solution to work its magic. So place the longer brown tree trunk onto the shorter tree trunk and stand your tree inside the plastic base. So Rebecca, if you pour all of that stuff very carefully on into the base, then it'll soak up into the paper. Don't get it on your clothes.
So very carefully put that up here. And in 24 hours, you should have some magic. So I'm here at Petco and I'm just waiting for Hanley. I hadn't heard from them, so Joe came home early because we have a dishwasher man at our house. And I just wanted to make sure that he was okay. He's not quite done yet. They say he's a really old man and he gets tired of sanding and waiting for them to do it. Aw, oh, he looks so different. He's got more of a mohawk than I wanted him to have. Maybe that's what she's cutting off. Hi, Handley. Do I need to leave? He just, he just likes to dance on the table a little bit. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. When we start running out of groceries and have to go into the pantry and the freezer, it's pasta time. Angie usually doesn't like pasta, so it's always a nice treat for me, because I love pasta. So tonight, I uh, just made a uh, baked pasta. Baked penne rigate with the meat sauce, bechamel, some mozzarella cheese on top. Turned out super good. Handley, who just got his hair cut, looks so good, is cleaning out the dirty dishes. John is on his second helping. Hey, Johnny. John. And is ignoring me. Is it good? Mm. He keeps asking for ketchup, though. Rebecca is over there singing in the bathroom. <laughs> Jacob and I played a game of chess today, and I conquered. <laughs> Barely. Good grief, I made some stupid mistakes at the end. My king started destroying his pieces. Yeah, it was, I got all of his pieces but his king, and then, uh... <laughs> well... I just, uh, the only reason I won is because I could get a couple of pawns to the other side. And now, it is the end of the day, and we are watching yesterday's American Ninja War... American Ninja Warrior. And that's it! That's it. Hey, Johnny, can you wave, can you wave bye-bye? Bye-bye! Wave bye-bye, John! Hey, John, are you all done? Can you wave bye-bye? There we go. See you tomorrow. Uh, hey everyone, so the book that I have been waiting for, the fourth book, the, the fourth book in the Five Kingdoms series is fi uh, by Brandon Mole. I just now tried a complete blank. Uh, is finally at the library, so we, me, me and Dad are just gonna go get it. Here we are at the library. Jacob is excited. He's so excited, he's asking about which John Williams theme is my favorite. We're gonna go get his book. On a scale of one to ten, Jabe, how excited are you about this book? Uh, eight. Eight? You've been waiting for this for like, what, two years? No. <laughs> how long have you been waiting for this one? Okay, since like October. Oh, that's it? So is that when you read the other one? Go. That's when I first read Well, what's the title? Uh, Five Kingdoms, number four, Death Weavers. Death what? Weavers. 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 Death Weaver. Huh. I wonder what a Death Weaver is. He says the Death Weaver is maybe one who knits the cloak of death. He'll have to tell us later. This is, this is the fifth kingdom you said? The this, oh, this is the fourth. And it's called Necronum. Dun, dun, dun. He's already started reading it. Made for really bad conversation all the way home. Yeah, two minutes. Ah, there's more than two minutes. Shorter than the way there. What? Shorter than the way there. Yeah, way there. We took a wrong turn. Still learning where everything is. <laughs>